Back, everyone. The mother of a former Hardin Valley Academy cheerleader says her daughter, as we've been talking about, was unfairly kicked off the team. She says it was all because of some social media videos. WATE 6 on your side reporter Lexi Spivak spoke with both mother and daughter who say they just want the rules to be consistent for every member of the team. Lexi. Yeah, Lori. So, Tasharia Akinleye, she says that this video is the one that's in question. She says that she's been posting videos like this one to social media apps like TikTok, Instagram, and Dub Smash for years. Now, she also says it's never been a problem until this school year. This is a typical morning before school for Tasharia Akinleye, but a major part of her day after school will be missing. I know the video wasn't very appropriate. Very appropriate for the cheer team, though, but I wasn't in uniform or anything. This is the video to Sharia and her mom, Toxi, say started it all. The cheer coach messaged to Sharia and said, Hey, this is not cheerleader appropriate for Hardin Valley, um, or not appropriate for a Hardin Valley cheerleader. Delete it. To Sharia deleted it. Tasharia's mom says she approves every video posted to her daughter's accounts. The first TikTok was a full body, and that's the one they asked her to delete. The subsequent ones that she posted, she cut her, she cropped herself up from, from the waist up. After that, her mom felt like it was game over. I got a phone call from the coach and the coach's assistant, and it started off with, you know, hey, we had that video that we asked Tashari to delete, and we know she deleted it. But then since that time, she's had three subsequent videos which are sexually inappropriate or explicit. Tasharia was off the team. Toxie says she requested a meeting with school officials. Then, a few hours later, another problem rang her doorbell. A DCS worker and two Knox County Sheriff's deputies. I was like, did somebody call you about the videos? And she's like, yeah, you know what we came for. A letter from DCS says DCS and law enforcement have both investigated the allegation of sexual abuse to your daughter, Tasharia Akinleye, involving the posting, selling of inappropriate videos of your child and found the allegations to be unfounded. Toxie says she thinks her daughter and the whole family are being treated unfairly because of their race. I, I think, to be honest, it's because she's black. She has a body. It's not her fault that she has a body. If you look at some of the videos and compare her body and her dancing to some of the other girls and their body and their dancing, she has more body, she has more of a body than they do. She says cheerleaders who are white have posted similar videos and still kept their spots on the team. My daughter should be able to cheer. Like that, that's her passion. She should not be penalized for expressing herself. As for Tasharia, she misses her teammates. It was a great team, like teammates, like they're like my family. So as she drives off for another day at HVA, she'll be home a little earlier now without cheer practice to cap it off. Now, Tasharia did mention to me that she'd been kicked off of her last cheerleading squad at Bearden High her freshman year. She says that she and her teammates weren't getting along there. She takes full responsibility for that, but says what happened this time was completely different. Lori? All right, Lexi, thank you. I want to let you know we have reached out to Knox County Schools a number of times. The spokesperson tells us they're reviewing the situation. This mother is now looking for an attorney. We're also told the ACLU is involved.